On Vineyard Acres Hole 1, you use a 20% over adjustment on your shot. It's up to you if you want to lay up or if you want to blast over in a 5 mile an hour wind or stronger. Anything below 5 miles an hour, I would lay up because chances of getting over are pretty iffy and I've seen many people hit the rough and not roll out very well. So here I did blast over with a 7 miles an hour wind. Your curl wants to be just right where the triangle is so if you have an EM8 it's basically full curl right on the triangle. The wind was so small with my end bringer that I didn't worry about any numbers or adjustments or anything like that. I just kind of eyeballed it. But if you get a crazy crosswind, I would use a 10% over adjustment with the slider of your end bringer. Since the wind was so small I decided to do a layup shot, I felt that if I tried to blast over there wasn't enough wind to get me over that rough. So you're going to eyeball with full top, full right spin as possible. Kind of eyeball where you want to go and then do a 20% max over adjustment. Now my opponent did try and go over the rough and of course 9 times out of 10 for the wind this low, you're going to hit the rough, which he did, and he rolled into the rough to the right. So it was pretty much an easy victory for me. Also give yourself a little bit of extra room for hitting a great ball to the right, because if you hit it too far to the right, it's going to end up into the rough to the right. So give yourself a little bit of room for a great ball. Here I did an end bringer chip. Again, the wind was low, so I just eyeballed it like a regular end bringer chip but usually you want to do a 10% over adjustment, was, which was about one ring here, so the adjustment was correct. With the wind being so high, I decided to do a full blast over power shot over the rough. You're going to do only do four top spin here and max right spin since the wind is so high. Do a max 20% over adjustment push up to max and then do your half a ball of curl and full over power. Again, the wind was so low that I really didn't need to do any 10% over adjustment. You just had to eyeball it. And I always like to spin my ball against the wind. On an end bringer chip, it seems to help it out a little bit more. And remember guys, hit perfect. <laughs> Happy golfing guys.